Okay, hey students. So in this video, we are gonna go over the lab called a case of skin cancer. So before you start any of these labs, you should always look over um, this sheet from, from Science Takeout. Make sure that you are reading the safety instructions. Make sure that you have everything that's required out of your lab kit. And if you are ever missing anything, there's a phone number on the bottom where you can get more information or if you're missing a supply. Make sure always that you're following the safety directions, not a cluttered area that you don't taste or eat anything. Um, you know, you wear goggles if necessary and wash your hands. So make sure to read over those and um, follow those directions. Okay, so when you're in this lab, this is uh, talking, this is gonna be at like a case study where you're going to read about um, this person, Sophia, and she's here like sunbathing with some of her friends. You're gonna read the background information, and then you're going to answer some questions here, like what do you know about skin cancer? When you are filling out all of these questions, make sure that you are uh, really being thorough, that you're giving me complete sentences, that you are, you know, digging deeper, and that you're writing this in a, you know, higher, like, college type of way and not just giving short answers. Um, so it says, what additional information would you maybe want to know? Then you're going to reach into your lab kit as you move over here to the next page and it says go into your lab kit and you have a picture of Sophia's mole. Um, you also have um, this cancer, skin cancer fact sheets where it's gonna give you some information but then down at the bottom, it's going to give you a very helpful sheet called the ABCDs E's of skin cancer and these are really important things about skin cancer that you should just know. Everybody should know this. In fact, I think this is a great little cutout to save for a really long time in your life because maybe for the rest of your life so that you know the A, B, C, D, E's of identifying if a mole is skin cancer because a large number of people end up getting skin cancer as you'll go through and look into the lab. So you're gonna look at Sophia's mole, and there's a picture of it. Um, and you're gonna look at her mole, and then using the ABCDEs, you're going to write if she should be seen by a dermatologist and why. Then um, you're gonna, Sophia does decide to have it removed, and you're gonna look at her biopsy that came in. So that's included there in color and you're going to answer a few questions at the bottom of this page. Again, remember complete answers. I think that if you use something specific, like a certain word from the fact sheet or from the ABCDEs, it's smart to probably highlight that in color or underline it so that it's easily identifiable like when we're grading to make sure that you are including scientific information. Then for part two, this is all coming from Sophia's diary. So it's different things that she finds out about um, her melanoma that she has and having it removed, etc. So you're going to be making assessments along the way. And you'll finish up, finish up all of that. On the back, so now we're going to be in part three and talking about um, sun safety research. I really like this part of the lab because this is where you will do your own experiment. So um, here you will have um, a research question that you will pick and then you're going to use these different items that are included in your kit. Um, you're given sunblock, you're given some uh, clay, and that's if you want to use the umbrella that's included, you can stick it in the clay. Um, you have different uh, cups, like that say negative control group, positive control group, and the experimental group. In the cups, you'll put the UV colored beads. So these beads look white, whitish, um, kind of, kind of a clear whitish, 
and they actually change color when they're in UV light. So indoors they won't. So this lab needs to be done um, outside and in the daylight. So this is not a part of the lab that you can put off till midnight and do. Um, this is something that needs to be done in the daylight. So um, there's different things like a cloth that you can you know, use as simulated clothing. Um, at any rate, you're going to follow, the di follow different directions and set up a, uh, a little experiment on your own. Uh, like going into the water or wearing long pants or sitting under an umbrella. So you are going to set up your lab. In your lab, um, it will ask you what the experimental group is. Remember, that's the group that has something changed about it. So um, this is like the one where you add something different or do something different. Uh, and then the positive control group is the one where there is a change that's expected. So uh, one where y you expect, uh, like for example, where treatment is known to prevent sun damage. So this is like uh, the one that's maybe going to have a cloth on it. And then the group where no effect is expected, for example, where no treatment to prevent sun is, is done. So in other words, the negative control group is going to be the group that you maybe, if you were putting sunblock on, that you didn't put any sunblock on. So um, here you're going to write all of that up and you're going to compare all of it. On the back, so this is page 7 on this, on this uh, packet, you're going to write a step-by-step -step procedure. Okay, when it says step-by-step -step procedure, what that means is that you actually have it numbered out in steps. So this isn't paragraph writing, this is numbered out in steps so that somebody could follow it like a recipe. Then you're going to write a detailed explanation of how you're going to collect the data, like how you're going to monitor it. Again, this can be a step-by-step. -step. Um, and make sure that you use, um, the data can be qual quantitative, like using numbers, like somehow that you assess it one to five or something like that, or it can, and make sure that you put times, like if you check at 15 minute intervals that that's listed, and it can be qualitative involving descriptions, like it turned this color pink or that color pink, or you can do it via photos, like you can take pictures. Um, and then you're going to write about the dependent and independent variables, the controls. And then you're going to make, this is important, a data table that summarizes the results of your experiment. So make sure that you actually do the experiment and then you, you make a data table. Also on this assignment, um, there is a... Um, right here on the back, the last page, it says your kit um, contains sheets or pictures to help you make an infographic. So what it is, is these pages, these pages come, it comes with a piece of paper that says uh, skin, cancer, and sun safety. Then it has all of these different um, pictures to make infographics. You're going to cut these out and then you're going to caption them with these items. Um, so you could say something like, do not use tanning beds or lamps. And so you would look here and find out which one looks like tanning beds or lamps. And here, here it is. So you would basically, on this piece of paper, you're going to cut out the tanning beds and the lamps, and you're going to put that that caption for don't use tanning beds and lamps underneath it. So you're going to caption all of these onto this page. So this is that lab. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy working on it.